At uh, the Organisation Méditerranéenne de l'énergie et du climat, uh, we perform, uh, we issue a publication, the flagship publication, which is uh, Mediterranean Energy Perspectives. Uh, in this publication, what we do is um, we, we present two different uh, scenarios. Uh, one is a kind of business as usual scenario, the proactive scenario, in which we consider that uh, the whole Mediterranean countries uh, will achieve their unconditional NDCs. And the second one, uh, which was uh, included in the uh, last Euromed uh, uh, UFM, uh, sorry, ministerial um, declaration to see how we could decarbonize uh, the energy system in the Mediterranean region by 2050. And so uh, we, this uh, publication was uh, issued in uh, in last uh, COP28. And uh, what we see is that, um, yeah, uh, the Mediterranean is embarked in the energy transition. As of course, energy transition is something that we need uh, to deal with because the region is in a hot spot. So if we need to decarbonize, and we need to decarbonize, uh, we need energy transition. Now, uh, if we only stick to the uh, unconditional NDCs, what we see is that uh, Europe will uh, succeed in any case um, in lowering its energy demand and also lowering its uh, CO2 emission because of the policies and measures and also because the population in Europe is expected to uh, even decrease uh, in the South Mediterranean countries, sorry, North Mediterranean countries. The population is uh, expected to decrease by 14 million. When we look at the south, south side, the uh, story is completely different. Why is this? Because uh, these are 60% of the population in the Mediterranean region, which today are consuming only 40% of the energy demand. So in terms of energy per capita, we are consuming large less in the south than in the north. And the prospects by 2050 is uh, telling us that the population will increase by 20, 123 million people. Uh, so meaning that the governments that have a stress today uh, in, in responding to the socio-economic needs of their population need to address both that for the existing population, but also for these 123 million uh, people to come. So this put pressure on uh, the speed also of the energy transition. And we also start from a situation where in the South Med, 90% of the energy mix is based on fossil fuels and natural gas is, of course, the main uh, fossil fuel that is based, uh, uh, used in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the region with, uh, with oil, uh, of course, for transport sector. In Europe, the situation is uh, less uh, with 56% uh, approximately. Uh, natural gas. So if we keep only with the unconditional indices, what we will, will happen is that our economies in the south will still be based on fossil fuel and natural gas will play an important role. Uh, but uh, this would be a negative news with regards to the CO2 emissions in the region that will be uh, e exploding. And also the energy security, because if we, we pursue with such strength, then uh, we have the producing uh, countries, but also the importing countries and the uh, global energy security of the region will deteriorate, especially in the south. So we need, we need to accelerate the path to the energy transition because we have a, a huge potential for energy efficiency, but also renewables and work on the new technologies. Uh, so the contrasted scenario would be how to decarbonize, so we analyzed how we could uh, decarbonize the region and in that case we have seen that the major uh, uh, efforts should come first of all for energy efficiency, so for more than 40% of the CO2 emission could be reduced or avoided thanks to uh, energy efficiency, but also renewable energy can play a tremendous role, uh, but we also look at uh, the different other technology so new gases will have uh, renewable gases will have a, 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 a role to play uh, CCUS will have a role to play storage would be important to present uh, approximately 100 uh, 10 of the installed capacity so we have uh, two different stories that are expecting the region unfortunately the unconditional path is the most likely to to, to happen but as we don't uh, want it to happen and as the region has a potential to do differently uh, uh, we see that no single country can do it by itself and uh, uh, so it is also uh, an individual but a collective effort and uh, for that uh, regional integration and regional cooperation is very crucial in order to avoid that we go for this unsustainable future and we much more go for the better and more sustainable future. Finance is uh, a big issue. 
uh, because when we look at the difference between reaching the conditional NDCs and the full NDCs, well, the difference is how to get access to finance, uh, um, uh, climate finance. Uh, so uh, definitely the countries, in particular in the South, are relying on uh, access to climate finance in order to do more for the sustainability. We also have assessed um, the investment needs uh, for both scenarios and we reach some 3.6 uh, trillion euros if we are with only the unconditional NDCs, whether we reach almost 7 trillion euros if we go for more renewables, uh, more electrification of the economies, electric vehicles, etc. So yes, for sure, uh, the energy transition has a price and uh, the tremendous investments are needed and uh, for sure uh, there is no other way than public-private uh, cooperation as well and to how to attract the uh, private investment and for that we also need to have the basic to, to the basic uh, uh, elements that need to attract the financing and uh, so this is also something which is not fully available in the region and to, uh, and to see also how even to have innovative uh, financing mechanism to develop renewable energy and new technologies. Yeah. We do see a future, yeah, we do, we, we analyze, you know, our full-time job is uh, for more than 30 years now is to analyze uh, region by region, uh, country by country, sector by sector, how the, uh, uh, the evolution of the uh, energy in the in the Mediterranean region and we do see a role for gas uh, even if uh, we are in a path for uh, decarbonizing the region as a tool for flexibility. We expect that still in the energy mix of the South Mediterranean country there is at least 25 percent of gas that would be needed for the flexibility and so we do expect still a future for gas in the region.